All right, good evening. We'll call to order the regular meeting for the Oneonta City School District Board of Education for December 16th, 2020. Can we have the roll call, please? Mr. Grau? Here. Mrs. Burnsworth? Here. Mrs. Kurkowski? Here. Mr. Beckering? Here. Mrs. Cashman? Here. Mr. Gaysford? Here. And Mr. Reynolds is absent. Thank you. Thank you. For our attendees, uh, we have two opportunities to address the board. There's a chat at, or a Q&A, excuse me, at the bottom of the screen. You can type uh, a statement in there and we'll read it at the appropriate times. There's one coming up at the beginning of the meeting and then one further down at the end of the meeting. Resolve to accept the agenda as presented. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Resolved to accept the minutes of the December 2nd, 2020 regular meeting as presented. So moved. I'll second. Okay. I'll give him the <laughs> <Yes. laughs> uh, Any discussion about this? <laughs> all right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay, this brings us to our first opportunity to address the board. I don't see anything in the Q&A, so we'll move on. Resolved that the reading of the teaching and administrative personnel memorandum 2020-21 be waived and that the action item stated December 16th, 2020 be approved as recommended by the superintendent of schools. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Resolved that the reading of the non-certificated personnel memorandum 2020-21 be waived, <clears throat> excuse me, and that the action item stated December 16th, 2020 be approved as recommended by the superintendent of schools. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Mr. Brindley, you are on mute. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, mention that uh, Margaret Kahn is, uh, is on uh, tonight's agenda for uh, permanent status as a school secretary in our district. She um, works down at Riverside and, and does a really, really nice job. So um, happy for Margaret. Thank you. Congratulations, Margaret. That's excellent. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay, Mr. Brimley. All right, thank you. Um, just a quick update. Uh, Mancini has been on site in our district uh, this week and um, uh, was able to install the tile mosaic uh, in the high school. It's been a long time in the making, but uh, you know, it sure looks nice and will serve the uh, high school as a, as a showcase for years to come. Uh, they're gonna transition from there to the library to uh, install the carpeting. Um, they're also just tying up some loose ends. Day automation will be in the buildings um, the week after next, uh, doing some connections and some surveillance uh, related uh, items and uh, also begin working on uh, some additional controls for our uh, Univent system. So uh, they're plugging away at that. Um, so, and you know, as, as they're moving along, they're, they're taking care of punch list items along the way. Uh, so that's all positive stuff. Um, also, would like to, to uh, update you just uh, relative to um, COVID in our district today. Uh, we had another positive high school student, uh, which brings us to 32. 
Um, luckily, uh, again, there is no um, exposure risk for students or faculty and staff in our buildings. And uh, of course, we continue to wish anyone who is affected by this well um, and that their recoveries are, are swift and um, that they regain their health quickly. So um, other than that, I, I, on our, uh, in my report, we have the uh, approval of the middle school school comprehensive education plan. And, um, you know, as you know, we came to you a while back, uh, just based on 2018-2019 uh, accountability indicators. Uh, the middle school was identified as a targeted support and improvement school. Uh, Colleen and Mr. Molay have been working very, very hard on this plan. Uh, this gets, uh, uh, because it is associated with a targeted school, um, it needs approval by the board. But this is essentially our plan to um, help uh, mitigate some of those concerns related to those uh, accountability indicators. Okay. Any questions? So resolve to accept the OMS School Comprehensive Education Plan as presented. Oh, second. Any discussion? All right, all in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Lastly, we, um, Mrs. Moore does some, some great work in our district, as you all know. And um, we were talking the other day and it's, it's one of those things where someone says something and, and you just think to yourself, you know, why, why didn't I think of that? But uh, Colleen had mentioned if, you know, I had thought that it might be nice for her to uh, present to you and, and fill you in along the way, um, that she would love to do that. And it's a great idea. And uh, I'm thrilled that Colleen can uh, present to you tonight. So thank you, Colleen. You're welcome. I um I thought that it would be good to get you the a report, maybe a monthly report. Um, so I I never done this in this position. So I thought I'd start with July of this year, and and you can see the report because I'm I think you all got it ahead of time. So basically, it's just a summary of the work that we've done, highlighted um, highlights from July through December, and um, I thought that you might just want to see some of that. I think it was, you know, pretty commendable that all the teach, all the work the teachers did over the summer and all the training and, and that they did. I wanted to make sure that you knew that, which I think you already knew, but um, you know, this kind of helps me to, to stick with my vision and plans to kind of really come up with a report every month um, for you to just kind of highlight some of the things that are going on in case you have any questions or asked about things that are happening. Um, through this office. Um, you know, one of the, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer any of those for you. I hope you all got a chance to read through it. Um, so basically, I, I, I don't think I need to go through and read it all, but I just wanted you to be able to get a kind of an overview of what's happening. And I do really value, I, I put this in my report, the partnership I have with ONC BOCES, um, being an office of one. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to accomplish a lot of those lofty goals that we'd like to be able to do in our district. And I think we're getting there, but I do rely on the support of um, our BOCE staff developers. And we are in a position this year where we do, because of our school improvement grant, we have a little extra funds to use that. So we are taking full advantage of that. And, and Maisie and Amanda, and Carolyn are, are working closely with us and helping with that. Um, the math program, K-5, that was a big accomplishment last year. I'm, I'm very proud of the teachers for deciding to take that on, even though we are in this situation because it, it was a, you know, a harder decision to make when we're remote and all the training is happening remotely. And, you know, I can't get into the classrooms and do any coaching. It's all kind of through Zoom. So they're really doing a great job with this and we have ongoing training happening for them. So that's a, it's a big accomplishment for them. And I think that they're doing a great job. So, you know, that's 
that's all I really have to say. I'm happy to answer any questions at any time tonight or anytime, feel free to reach out to me and I'll continue to do a monthly report. And if there's something special you'd like me to report on, please just let Tom know and I'll, I'll um, highlight that. Thank you, Colleen. Welcome. Mr. Grau, that's all I have for this evening. Okay, thank you both. We appreciate that and we appreciate the update, Colleen. Okay, resolve that the reading of financial memorandum 2020-22 dated December 16th, 2020 be waived and that the financial action items be approved as recommended by the superintendent of schools. So moved. Second. Discussion. Um, yes, it's a small agenda tonight. Uh, the single audit is one of our many audits that you've seen. Um, this was part of our regular audit, but we're required to extract the federal portion of that, which includes some of our grants and um, our federal breakfast and lunch program. So that's reported separately um, to the federal clearinghouse. Um, the audit response should look familiar. That's for the extra classroom activity. Um, you've already seen that. What we did is it, the, the response was rejected because the dates, they wanted specific dates, um, which were a little bit difficult this year because we haven't started student activities. So they haven't had their meetings um, to talk to them, but we did do it electronically. So we took care of that and the inactive clubs will be taken care of by January. So that'll satisfy that requirement. So we'll send that back in. Um, there were a couple donations on there and, you know, I, I think pretty much every agenda we have donations. Our community is really, really generous to the school. Um, these ones happen to both be for Valley View. Uh, one is a PTO donation for um, some food bags. And then another one is a family that donates annually anonymously for a Valley View uh, family in need over the holidays. So that's really nice of them. Um, the budget calendar is included there, so you can see where we are with it. Uh, we're on track with budget development. Um, it's going to be very difficult again this year because there's just so many things that we don't know, but the forms will go out to the administrators Friday, and actually they can get to them now. We do a Google shared drive that um, Colleen and Rebecca worked hard on too, so thank you. Um, but all the forms are updated and we'll be using that so that we can work together as an administrative team. And then we'll, you know, give up an update each time we have a board meeting. So uh, the part B, I'll just go here right now. The part B of the agenda is the NILAF resolution. And that really, we won't see a change. All it is is a merging of the two investment um, companies that we use and it's really it's a school run investment so there's no change in anything to us the same people will be working with our accounts um, they're just merging it to one name instead of two so that's really all that is and that's all I have any questions Any questions? okay all in favor Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Very good. <clears throat> Resolved that upon the recommendation of the superintendent of schools to approve the NILAF resolution as presented. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Well, that brings us to our second opportunity to address the board. And I do not see any comments in the Q&A section. So we can move down to round table. Um, Sean, I'll let you go first because I think I made you go last last time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good, but no, no reports, uh, committee reports still on standby. And uh, regarding Margaret Gunn's uh, position at Riverside, I know when she took over for Jackie, she had some big shoes she had to fill. And uh, 
from what I hear, those shoes are being built easily. That school is in good hands, no matter who's sitting at that desk. So, uh, Margaret, congratulations. And uh, we look forward to many more years with you. And, Tom, again, thank you for all the hard work that you and Lisa have been putting on with the budget and with our COVID situation. I think we're doing a good job, the best we possibly can for what we have being presented to us. And uh, hopefully we got some brighter times ahead of us now that we possibly have a vaccine that will be distributed sooner than later, hopefully in our district or at least our area with the, uh, you know, obviously with the priorities of who's going to receive it. But I think brighter days are coming. I really do. And I got my fingers crossed that after the first of the year that we get in that direction because uh, God only knows we all need to get back. I think everybody needs it for their sanity, if anything. <laughs> um, so that's all I really have tonight. So again, thank you for everything you guys have been working on at the district, doing a great job. Thanks, Sean, Amy. Uh, finance did meet yesterday. Uh, I think Lisa covered most everything in her uh, report. We're continuing to keep, you know, on track with the, the budget calendar and, and budgeting for next year. It's you know, always a challenge in best of years. So this year is, you know, not excluded from that. So, uh, and other than that, uh, congratulations to Margaret. And I always want to throw kudos to our faculty and staff who are doing the best they can in the situation that they have. Um, and, you know, to the students and the parents as well, um, because it's not easy and there are no there are no easy choices or answers. That's all I've got. All right, Cash. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Um, echo the sentiments of my previous two BOE members. Congratulations to Margaret. Um, and I do not have any committee reports either. Uh, I hope everyone enjoys your snow day tomorrow. Digging out, because we're all gonna have to dig out and um, yeah, I think uh, to the administration and teachers and just everyone as well, uh, continue to do the great job that you're doing. Everyone appreciates it. The students I know appreciate it. And um, as a parent, I appreciate it as well. So thank you. Darren. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I have nothing new either, no committee reports. I would just like to thank Colleen for her report. Uh, it was kind of nice to see, you know, some, some things that you've been up to for the last few months. So thanks for the report, and we'll look forward to more in the future. Um, congratulations to Margaret on her uh, full-time position, and uh, have fun in your snow day tomorrow. That's all I have. Sue? So Uh, I do not have any committee reports, um, but I do have something that I'm going to contact Colleen with that uh, could fall under the wellness committee um, and through the Y. So I'll be in touch about that. Um, and I guess just everything that everybody else said, I think we say it at every meeting is just continuing to thank everybody for the hard work that they're doing, both staff, teachers, our superintendent. Um, the families and the kids, definitely. Um, today we were not able to hold our Wellness Wednesday and we've got like six or seven solid families that come every Wednesday and they were, they missed it. But hopefully tomorrow's snow day, they'll get out and play and get a little fresh air that way. Um, but otherwise I have nothing else. Thank you. All right. I got everybody right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I too, uh, Amy covered finance um, and want to wish congratulations to Margaret again. And also, you know, we've always appreciated everyone's hard work. I, I am, I do get frustrated when I hear that families have sleepovers and, you know, not only the family that allows it, but the family that allow their kids to go it, go to it. And you know, and we saw a jump in our numbers in the last week or so. And it's just, it's just frustrating. I know it's hard. I know we want things to be normal, but they're not. And they're not going to be. And, you know, we just need to power through it. And, uh, you know, maybe hopefully by summer, 
um, you know, we'll be at a place where these things can happen again. But thank you. With, uh, so with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn to executive session for the purposes of special education and personnel. So moved. So moved. Second, whoever you want to give it to, Reggie. <laughs> All in favor. Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone.